Should you learn Terraform in 2021? Is it a useful tool? Is it a DevOps tool? Who's using it? Well, listen, I have answers for you, so stay tuned. Hey, Mike here from learndevops.com.au, and today we're talking about HashiCorp's Terraform. Huh, should you be learning it? Yes, you should. I don't even think that this video is actually necessary, to be perfectly honest with you. Anyone who is looking at DevOps, who's looking at cloud, infrastructure as code, there's definitely a phrase they will have heard of. They most absolutely certainly will have come across Terraform. It is, in my opinion, the default industry standard tool for infrastructure as code. I go into clients over the past four, five, six years now, absolutely every single one of my clients has used, is using, or was immediately planning on and is now using Terraform. If you're going to build a cloud environment, in fact, stop right now. If you're actually planning on creating right now, you've got your hand on the mouse and you're ready to create an AWS account and you're doing it through the console, take a step back. This is your opportunity to go and download Terraform, learn some basics, head on over to learndevops.com.au if you want to learn those basics and use Terraform to create that account. Stop using Terraform to populate that account with resources and start actually having some fun with cloud again because I'm telling you right now, Terraform is the industry standard when it comes to infrastructure as code and managing your cloud-based environments. So should you get familiar with it? Yes, you absolutely should. This is one of the tools where you should spend a lot of time getting familiar with. It's just, there are not many tools I would actually say that, but this is one of them. It's extremely prolific. I've seen it across startups, right through to enterprises, state governments. I've seen it used in all kinds of shapes and forms for Azure, for GCP, and for AWS. I've even seen it used for none of those things. I've actually seen it used for completely custom systems because it's so flexible as a tool. You can write your own providers and then you can use it in order to leverage completely custom infrastructure and custom tools. I've seen it used for managing custom load balancers based on top of HA proxy. It is very, very powerful. And if you do want to get familiar with it, then head on over to learndevops.com.au. If you go to book.learndevops.com.au, in fact, you'll see that I have a section there that walks you through some Terraform basics and then has you walking through an actual real project where you'll build a real relatively complicated architecture on AWS, entirely based on Terraform. I hope that answers the question. I think it does. It probably does, right? Yeah, does that answer the question? Yeah, does that answer the question? Yeah, yeah, they, they're all saying that answer. There's actually no one here. It's just me. But uh, <laughs> it does definitely answers the question. You should be learning Terraform without a doubt. Listen, if you really enjoyed this video, then hit that subscribe button for me. Hit the like button and let me know in the comments down below if Terraform is a new tool for you. Is it something that you've been using on a daily basis? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you want to have a chat, then head on over to chat.learndevops.com.au. Let's connect soon. Very nice.